Well, hello everybody. I'm outside here at our homestead today and I'm going to be doing a quick video about some different ways that you can house your Coturnix quail. So the great thing about quail is that they are super small and they don't require a whole lot of space or an extravagant setup. Um, I have found personally that our quail are happiest with at least one square foot per bird, but this leaves you room for a lot of different housing options. So I'm gonna show you a few ways that we use now. So let's go check it out. So before I get too far into this video, I did wanna mention that quail can be raised on solid footing or wire. Now, if you're choosing to raise your birds on wire, you're going to want to make sure that it's a PVC coated wire that's going to be more comfortable for their feet. This is really common in rabbit cages. They're usually always coated wire. And for whole size, it's best to do a one inch by half inch. So this is going to be big enough that the bird's feet won't fall through, but the droppings will, and that's what you want to go for. If you're gonna do a solid flooring like we do, I really like using an, a chunky arborist wood chip. You can get them from tree trimming services. Just be sure it's not cedar because cedar is toxic to birds. Um, other than that, you can use soil, peat moss, you can use sand, pine shavings from your local farm supply store, um, or that pelleted bedding that they often use for horse stalls. So there's many options. I just wanted to throw a few out there for you. The first option I'm gonna start off is one of the easiest to get started with, and that's just a simple rabbit cage. So this is gonna be an option if your birds will be uh, not in the way of predators, because as you can see, a predator could stick their hands or paws in there, and it's gonna be in shelter already. So this would be a good setup to have in a home, a garage, a barn, shed, etc. Somewhere where they're already gonna be protected from the elements and predators. Now a cage like this will give you the option, I don't have the insert in here, but there is a wire insert to let the droppings drop, or you can just do the solid footing bottom. And this cage is totally suitable for three to four laying hens. They would be really happy in that. And that would give you an opportunity to get started and get some eggs for your family. Some other small space options. I just have these here as holding pens when I need to separate birds or hold them for people for pickup. But these could be permanent living solutions. I'll often use totes like this for our chick brooders. But if you had a pair of laying hens, they would be totally content in here. Just the little, um, I guess the biggest you can find of a Rubbermaid tote bin. I have food and water in here already from some birds that I took out the other day. Just be sure that you have proper ventilation on top because the plastic could be an issue if there's not enough ventilation. And then down here is my other holding cell. Now I do have chicken wire wrapped around this, which is a dog crate. And that's because our cats like to harass the quail when I'm not watching. So that kind of helps keep them out. However, once again, I'm in a barn here and this is already predator proof from raccoons and such. But I've got in there a little tree branch for them. I've got a little water dish so I could just put some food in there and they would be happy. See, there's the cat wishing there was some quail in there. Now next is a nice small to medium size option if you wanna be keeping your birds outside. So I'd actually built this little wooden quail house out of a deck wood that we're tearing down a deck. So the wire for an outside cage, you always want to have either half inch galvanized hardware cloth like this and I actually have some fourth inch galvanized hardware cloth on here too. Now this, when something rubs against it, can get sharp and that will shred anything trying to get in. So if you've got a raccoon or a possum, something like that trying to get to your quail, that's gonna hurt them and they'll probably give up pretty quickly. All right, so this is 14 or 12 to 14 square foot, I can't quite remember. I've only got four hens in here right now, but I could fit a lot more and they would be happy. They really do enjoy things to hide under like tree branches. 
I've just got a basic chicken feeder, got them some snacks, they love their zucchini. And I like these little chicken water nipples for the quail because they don't make a mess with their water dishes. If they just peck these little nipples, the water comes out and it's so much easier. They love to hide. All right, heading out to the grass now. I also have built a quail tractor. So this is four by four. And I can just grab this handle and move it to fresh grass. You can actually see the areas that they have already been. And I typically use this to grow out males and you get a nice pasture raised meat because the quail do love to eat the grass. I think there's only five guys in here right now. There they are. But at one point this summer, I did have about 20 in here and they were fine. They're all hiding back there behind that tub. It's starting to get cooler at night now, so I gave them a little tub with hay to sleep in. But that's something super easy. This you could pull on pasture during the summer months and then you could move it indoors somewhere for the colder months if you're getting a lot of snow or something. So it's also a pretty flexible option and it was pretty simple to build. If we come around the corner here, I have another little quail house. This one's a triangle. This one I built out of dog ear fence boards. And once again, this has the half inch galvanized hardware cloth that is not gonna let any predator in. Now, because this coop is on grass, it's gonna be hard to see, but I do have a skirting of hardware cloth buried around it. So that way, if a predator tried to dig underneath, they're gonna hit their paws on that hardware cloth. So I only have a few birds in here right now, but this is, I believe, eight by eight. And at one point I had about 30 birds in here and they were happy. They enjoyed themselves. Um, I just gave some extra branches and stuff to hide under. Right now, that's just a few grow out males in there hanging out. And you always want a nice good lock on your stuff. Now another option if you want to go big, you can use a shed. So this is our quail shed. It used to be a pool shed, but we ditched the pool. So I got to use this bad boy for quail. I cut some holes in the doors also using the hardware cloth to keep critters out. I've got a good lock on there. Now this is, I believe, I'm not entirely sure how big this shed is actually, but I do believe I could fit probably 50 birds in here easily. Now I think I only have about 25, but they just love it in here. And this is that chunky wood chip um, from like the tree trimming service. I just rake it around um, maybe a couple times a week and then every few months maybe like six months or so, you can do a full clean out if you choose. Makes wonderful um, compost for the garden. Well, I hope that gave you some ideas for keeping your own Caternix quail. Like I said, they don't need a lot of space. I know some of our setups are bigger, but that is because we do hatch a lot of birds and sell them. So we do need a lot of space for our quail. But if you have a house, a condo, apartment, there are cage type options for any type of area that you live. A lot of people even will have a few birds in something like a large uh, fish aquarium. So you really can get creative. And the other great thing too, if you live in town or in a city, is that the quail hens are very quiet. 
Um, when they are happy, they'll make noises that sound like little crickets chirping and no one would even know it's a bird. So that's another option. If you are worried about noise from neighbors um, or if you have city ordinance restrictions on chickens, but you really want to have eggs for yourself that you raise. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I will do my best to answer them for you. Bye.